It's September 15th and we're in Chicago and I'm sitting with John Iwata from IBM and I want to thank you for spending some time with us this afternoon. I know you've been busy with the Page Society Conference. Uh, why don't we get started and we'll, we'll talk about um, your early career. Mm -hmm. um, you graduated from San Jose State with a communications degree and uh, could you just talk about um, your early career and how everything progressed to get you to where you are today. Yeah. Well, um, let's see. I was 14 when Watergate happened. And like generations of young idealistic people, when we found out about, you know, we found out about Watergate through the work of, among others, Woodward and Bernstein, who, uh, you know, were romanticized as uncoverers of truth. So when you're 14, trying to figure out what you want to do, 14, 15, 16, you, and, w and I was interested in liberal arts, writing and whatnot, I thought, this is a very noble thing to do for a living as a profession, uh, investigative journalism. So I, uh, fired, I was all fired up and off I went. And I ended up at San Jose State in the journalism program. And my intent was to become a reporter and, and, and an investigative reporter. And a couple of things happened. One is, I was a little late to that game because a, a lot of people were turned on to journalism suddenly, and the, the market was being flooded with uh, hopeful reporters. Um, but that was one, one consideration. Then I took as an elective class a PR course taught by uh, Dennis Wilcox, who is also a Page Society member. And to be honest, I thought my view of the PR people uh, were, you know, these are my future opponents. Um, I didn't understand what this uh, field was, and I, I thought I would sit through this one elective course with my arms folded and uh, with a mixture of disdain and pity for these people. Um, but it was 1982 at this point, and I was assigned, you know, through the course, through the, through the uh, semester, to follow and, and report on the Tylenol case, which was unfolding at that very time. Uh, year at that time. And what I was astonished to find, as was everybody so famous now, was the decision made by J&J &J to voluntarily withdraw Tylenol. And of course they weren't compelled to do so, they weren't required to do so. And I was so impressed by that that um, I looked more deeply into this thing called public relations to find out you could get a major in it and you could get a job in it. So all of these things came together uh, in, in 82, I guess, and it caused me to change my major from uh, editorial journalism to public relations uh, because of these things. So that's what I got my degree in. It's actually in public relations from the School of Journalism and Mass Communications at San Jose State. Um, I took an internship as required by Will Cox uh, at IBM, uh, and uh, I had no idea that you could you know, they needed communications people in corporations, and it turns out IBM has, uh, you know, hundreds and hundreds of them, even more so then. And based on that internship uh, at IBM, uh, I was uh, offered a job and a position full time. And so I, I started off technically as an intern uh, in 1983 or something, and I, was, I became a regular employee of the company in 1984. 